Yeah, no, me too. 100%. Like, but that's been always my hangovers. I'm like, like bedridden yeah. all day. Well, I think the trick is to keep drinking and that's how you don't get hangovers anymore. Ah, but, like, you have to be able yeah. to keep things down for that. Like that's, that's a whole thing. Oh, because if you keep drinking, your body's always numb. So you don't feel physical or emotional feelings and um, you can become an alcoholic. I think that's the trick. I mean, it's a Friday night. We're still in quarantine, I think. Right? California. We should be. <laughs> yeah. Unless you live in like Florida or Vegas. We wouldn't be, uh, I guess we're stuck at home. So I guess we're doing another one of these videos. And today we're talking about <laughs> turning 30 and what it does it mean. Where do you feel it the most? Which let's open up with that question. Well, before actually before that, let's uh, say hi. Like, obviously, people have seen Laura before, and we have two new faces. Well, we have Ju Juju. I was about to say your full name, Juju, and we have Brooke with us this time. Um, all of us went to high school together at good old in good old Visalia Redwood High School. Good old alma mater. Uh, just to put it out there. The stories from um, your guys' last podcast, they're all true for the most part. For the most part. I don't remember what we, we even talked about. I don't you know. There's a lot of subjects. The only thing I remember was Sean William Scott. And that was the key thing I made people know was how awesome Sean William Scott is. And that was the only thing I took from that podcast. And your love for him goes on like the Titanic song. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It, it's stronger than... Ted Cruz wanted to stay in Texas during the winter. So I just, my mind just kind of went there after, because like of all these freaking memes of, um, of Texas. Oh my gosh, but his mask though, with the Texas state <laughs> flag as he's leaving fleeing Texas after like hating on people leaving during a pandemic. But please, I have a child. That was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I have a child. <laughs> What a dick. That's a good Billy Zane, bro. Yeah. Have Thank you. Guys you. I'm, okay, though. So something that I've learned that I love is watching reaction videos, like people watching something for the first time and they're recording their reaction. Yeah. I love, I love it so much. And someone watched Titanic for the first time. And first of all, how have you not? Whatever. And right. then... Uh, when it came to that part, like it showed that little part, I have a child. And the guy was like, what an asshole, there's not And he like took off. The rage. The rage that this, like kind of a big guy and had like a beard and was like, oh, he's upset. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. yeah anyway. I mean, like, but how old do you have to be to not have seen Titanic? Assuming young. How old was this guy? Like, I was just assuming, like, um, a younger generation. I don't, I don't know. know. I, when, when did Titanic come out? Okay, no. like, we were at, like, third grade-ish because, like, like, maybe Julian was in fourth because, like, I for sure <laughs> was in love with Leo and I for sure was, like, right there, like, ready to see it. It was PG-13, so I couldn't mm -hmm. see it until oh, I was... Dude, watching it with my family was, like, a whole nother level because I didn't know about the whole, like, nudity scene and with, like, all the Catholics in one room. Oh, God. Yeah, like, I was, I remember when it opened, a girl in my class came up to me. She, like, ran to me and was like, have you seen Titanic? And I was like, no, I can't. I'm too young. And she was like, the girl is naked the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> what? Kate Winslet, she got so hated no, on for all her nudity. What? Well, yeah, you know, yeah. What? What, what movie was she I talking think, about? Like, she and Naomi Watts win for most nude scenes, one hundred percent. I have seen their boobs many times. Who? Arlie and Arlie. They're good boobs. To make eye contact. They're nice. They're, they're great. Before I forget, I remember like seeing Titanic. On VHS, it was like a it was like a two two yeah, uh, I had it, it was on a two VHS, VH, VHS special yeah. right next to the Star Wars box set in yes. Costco. 
and of this is, yeah, yeah as a kid like i'm like i never saw titanic until it came on was it nbc or or abc like when the <laughs> rights on, like mainstream like what else the edited, like really yeah censored. yeah it's, i mean the only scene the only like sexual scene they kept in was the like the hand the hand down the yeah <laughs> for anybody who's listening to this who has never seen titanic or spoiler alert or still in the teens like they're all fine they all live it's a real it's a great ending oh yeah fantastic yeah. you know you're kind of there's a tap dance in there it's great yeah it's <laughs> you, you might even say the characters are frozen in time you know oh forever <laughs> but I'll never, never want to let go. Like, oh, for that movie. It is it is where that phrase "paint me like one of your French girls" came from. Yes. So if you ever hear your boomer parents or older brothers and sisters say "paint me like a French girl," like one of your one. French girls. Okay, let's be real, guys. They're millennial right, parents saying this. Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> these are these are parents our age. Yeah. You yeah, mean our friends? Our age are parents. Yeah, these are our friends saying this. <laughs> I remember, I, was far, kids. I forgot what comedian said this, but this comedian was like, the moment I knew I was old was when I was looking up MILF porn and realized these girls are all my age. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, holy shit, this is true. This is, this is oh how we God. know we're old people. The, the porn, <laughs> the MILF porn is how you know you're old people. Who, who said that? Was it Dane Cook? I don't think it was Dane Cook. He's, I mean, it sounds like Dane Cook. <laughs> it was like, I forgot who said it, but I was like, when it hit like around my the end of my twenties or thirties, I was like, "Oh shit, you're right. These dudes look like my peers." Is that's how you know you have hit that phrase? Fra- um, fa- uh, I was about to say phrase phase in your life. <laughs> your okay, 30s. I have like a funny story of like it's not when I realized I was like old, but when I realized I was an adult, it, it was like after age. I don't know. It was probably like early to mid twenties. <laughs> And I don't know why, but it hadn't clicked that I was, like, an adult yet. <laughs> and I was at my little cousin's birthday party at Rollertown, as we've all talked about. And mm-hmm. something happened, and these little girls come, like, running, well, skating up to me. And it's, like, my cousin and her little friend, and one in the middle who's bawling. She's just crying her eyes out. And they're like, Laura, 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 like, so-and-so pushed her and blah 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 and they're like ratting out some little boy and I just like don't know any of these kids well enough to like punish strangers children and so I'm like oh no like you should probably tell an adult about that (laughs) and they all (laughs) look at me so confused like we did oh my god they just did I'm the adult (laughs) I need to deal with this (laughs) Oh my that, god! Like, click and like I did that before. <laughs> it's just like that moment of like for some reason like usually like I'm always only in charge if I was the only adult around and like when there were like parents around, they told yeah. parents and so I was like, oh god, <laughs> like I need to deal with this. <laughs> like what is happening? When did this become a thing? Yeah, so <laughs> Who put me in charge? Who thought this was a good idea? <laughs> right? Yeah. Man, that must be one weird way to figure out that you're old now. Or older, or whatever age you were at that point. Yeah, that click of like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, what about you two? Like, when was your guys' like, aha moment where you realized that you are no longer in your 20s? Or you're no longer a child, tween, whatever, a dumbass. Young adult. Yeah, young adult. That's what I meant to say, not dumbass. Because we're all dumbasses, let's be real. Yeah, it's true. Uh, I think my awakening moment was when I was uh, mentoring some of the college students at Fresno State and they wanted to party it up and I looked down at my watch and I'm like, it's 10 o'clock guys, like I need to be in bed right now. And the pure shock on all these kids' faces looking. Also, when you turn old, when you start referring to younger people as this kid, like type of thing. But when these kids are looking at me in pure shock, like, it's only 10 o'clock. We're just starting. And I'm like, I got to go to bed, guys. I got an early day. Like, I got to wake you guys all up in the morning. That was my realization where I'm the old person in the group. Mm. Mm. I, well, 
with the mm, I feel like there's like five different times because I'm still so in denial. Uh, <laughs> we have time. Go ahead. <laughs> when I went to Fullerton, right? Sorry. When I went to Fullerton, um, I, I had spent two years like at COS. So I was already a little bit older than everybody, pe the people in my class. And so when people turned like 21, that was weird. I was like, oh, I'm, I've been 21 for a while. And then um, 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 it was really weird when the kids that were graduating before me were younger than me. That was weird. Mm. But I started as a freshman. It was like my first year and people who were in their fourth year were graduating, but I was older than them. And I was like, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, and when I found out that Facebook wasn't like a thing, that was only a few years ago. Oh. I was like, oh, we'll just find her on Facebook. And my <laughs> friend was like, honey, she's not on Facebook. She's like 15. And I was like, Oh, is this her parent? I was thinking, oh, does her mom not allow her to be on Facebook so young? And it was like, there's Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> what do you mean only old people use Facebook? And then I was thinking about it and I was like, oh my God, yeah. It's like <laughs> people 25, maybe. And above. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. So like 28 and older. Like, yeah. And then um, get it, finding, during quarantine, just finding a streak of silver hair. Mine's right here. <laughs> but you're blonde. Dude, but I've got the, it's, I've got so many shades going on in here right now. It's like the, it's going to be 50 shades of gray. Like, <laughs> so that was really, oh my God. And fuck guys. I'm so sorry. I talk so yeah, much. We love it. Um, just waking up or standing after you've been sitting for a while. <laughs> right. <laughs> your hip or your knee the leg, yeah, the leg. your lower back just fucking hurts and it's like i don't understand this was fine when i was 29 now i'm 32 it's even worse from when i was 30 right like it's just and it's so fast yeah it's like and your body your body's like oh my shifts is up it's it's the 30s like, seriously, and I hate it. I hate it for people who are watching who are, like, older than their 30s, who are like, oh, just wait. Just yes. wait. Oh, my gosh. And it's like, you know what? No, let me be in this misery now. You know? Like, just shut up. This is my journey. <laughs> Let me Don't hate. tell me that, oh, gosh, it's only going to get worse. Just wait. Oh, wait until you're 40. No, fuck off. What's worse is uh, none of us have kids either. Ooh, I know, right? Fuck. Well, is it? I mean, I think it's worse when somebody goes, age is just a mindset. It's just a number. You're, you're as old as you think you are. And I'm like, bro, are you trying to lie to me or yourself? <laughs> you know it's like, like come on man like I, i'm feeling it like i'm 28 yeah. like, i know it's i know it's gonna be cold later on when my knees start shaking wait eric so when was your like when did you have a moment like i feel like we've all probably had a whole handful of moments what, what's like one of the moments that stands out for you that you like clicked on this um one of my moments was so i lived in a frat house until oh, i right. graduated until i spent six years in college don't regret it I still, I'm still paying back the loans, whatever. It's, uh, it's like fine. Like Van Wilder's side. Of yeah. <laughs> but I still lived in a frat house. Uh, and um, I remember coming home after a shift at Abercrombie. And like I was all shaved, right? And then whenever, you know, Asian people shave, you look young. 
and this my and I was in the living room. I went up, gr- dropped my shit off, went back downstairs, and, and I was in the living room in the hallway. And this girl was like, "Hey, I haven't seen you around before. Are you a freshman?" And I was thinking in my head, I was like, "Oh fuck, she thinks I'm a freshman, but I'm like 23." So then I told, so I was like, "There's no way I can get away, get away with this." So I told her I was a sophomore. Just to make sure that I had a little room for cushion there, um, but that was one of the moments where I was like, "Fuck, man, this is, this is where I think I'm kind of old." So it started creeping in, and then obviously I kept talking to this girl, and then, and I made a reference to the Power Rangers, and she asked me, who, "Who, what are the Power Rangers?" And that was when I realized I need to start dating somebody a little bit older because now I'm old because she doesn't even know who the Power Rangers are. And it's hard to explain to somebody how there was a TV show based off of another TV show in Japan where, where, where teenagers who looked like 25-year-olds dressed up in tight spandex co- costumes. Teenagers uh, who were 25-year-olds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And these costumes match their racial identity you know <laughs> i like never <laughs> realized gender. it really and like, gender like the range the yellow ranger thing i never got that until literally. i didn't either laura <laughs> i didn't either <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not the only one and it was like even. yeah i was like Power rangers <laughs> yeah uh, i wasn't allowed to watch it because it was too violent <laughs> but I know what you're talking about, at least. <laughs> it's our-